All right, we're here in Hill City, South Dakota, in the Black Hills. And uh, I met a cool guy I want to introduce you to. So let's go. So I didn't catch your first name. Or is it Dahl? Jordan. Jordan? Okay, yeah, so this is it right here. This is called, it's called a one wheel. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. You can go off-road with them and wow. um, you ride them like a skateboard or a snowboard. So, you ride here a few days ago? I saw someone else had one. I've been riding kind of all over, but okay. not here in town. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. it's like a green one. Oh, really? Someone yeah. had one of these? Yeah. Really? <laughs> I didn't know what it was. Oh, that's yeah. cool. They weren't riding. So. Uh, yeah, so they're, they're a ton of fun and no hand control. And uh, yeah, whenever I ride, I'm always just filming. That's awesome. Yeah. Great. When I was in Hawaii, I, I met a, a a tiki carver. Yeah. And we talked a long time, but I was yeah I was just riding my one wheel around and and ran into this tiki carver and uh, yeah. So I'm Jimmy. This is Jordan. Jordan is a a professional chainsaw carver. You can see there chainsaw art. And uh, we're here in Hill City, South Dakota. And I am a big fan of chainsaw carving art. Um, I dabbled in it a little bit, but nowhere near the level of this. And uh, yeah, tell us a little bit about your, your setup here. Uh, well, we got started in uh, the Black Hills, South Dakota in 2007. Uh, in 2004, my brother and I went up to Alaska and a friend of the family had a business up there and he kind of got us started in the business. And then we just kind of went on our own out in, in the Black Hills and now we have three locations in Keystone, Deadwood, and uh, Hill City. Awesome. And it, the, that sound that I hear, are those your chainsaws going on in the back? I think that's actually <laughs> someone mowing the lot. <laughs> <laughs> someone mowing the lot, okay. Yeah. I thought that'd be perfect. Let's go check it out. Yeah, right. right. Awesome. And well, what's your favorite thing to make? Uh, my favorite thing to make is kind of every piece that you make, it kind of becomes your favorite until you start carving the next piece. So I don't know, I mean bears and eagles I think are the best sellers and owls, but it's fun to create new pieces every now and then, that's for sure. Alright, yeah, I saw a Squidward over there, yeah. I saw some Sasquatch or Bigfoot, some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, yeah. got a pig over there, yeah. um, really cool, very creative. I, I love creating and uh, the I think chainsaw carving is very therapeutic. Awesome, I just wanted to uh, say hi. So if you're ever in the area, uh, Hill City in the Black Hills, we're here in South Dakota. This is a, an amazing place to visit. We were actually supposed to be Hawaii, in Hawaii this week, but uh, because of the restrictions, we moved our family reunion get together here in South Dakota, and it's just been an amazing country, just a beautiful Good. place. So Glad yeah, to be out here. thanks for uh, sharing your, your uh, artwork and your uh, yeah, no craft here with us. Thanks for stopping Appreciate by. It. Yeah, thanks man. Yeah. Take care. Yeah, thanks. thanks guys, take care, good luck. So that was Jordan Dahl. Pretty cool getting to meet another chainsaw carving artist. I actually searched around for someone that could take me on as an apprentice so I could learn how to chainsaw carve, but no one would. No one wanted to take me at the beginning. But uh, let's check out this city. For the rest of this video, I'm gonna be talking about hobbies. Having a hobby like riding the one wheel or electric unicycle is not only fun, it's good for you. And I'm going to share with you seven reasons why riding the one wheeler you see is good for you. Number one, hobbies keep us busy and help us to break the monotony of everyday life or the boredom of a pandemic. Number two, hobbies push us to learn and to grow. The growth that comes from learning a new skill on the one wheel or learning how to ride in UC have been super satisfying to me. Number three, hobbies also make us more interesting as people. My passion for electric rideable devices always comes up during conversations and people love to hear me talk about it. At least I think they do.
Before I started the whole electric rideable thing and YouTube thing, I loved woodworking projects and creating chainsaw art. The hobby of one will replace chainsaw carving during the summer of 2018, and I traded in carving wood for carving on asphalt and concrete. Another benefit that comes from hobbies is getting out to meet people. That's reason number four. A hobby like riding the one wheel is good for you because you get to meet people. Meeting people may take place virtually like on Facebook groups or on group rides or randomly during rides like I did with Jordan, the chainsaw carver. Hobbies promote community, friendships, and bonds. That leads us to number five. Hobbies let you use your creative juices. Carving a piece of wood or cutting up a video clip for YouTube, that is creating for me. Number six is making money. If you're fortunate enough to have a hobby that makes money, that's just a bonus. I love creating wooden eagles and selling them. I also love making YouTube videos, and the money the videos earn is a nice bonus that goes right back into improving the channel and my website. And finally, number seven, the most important reason to have a hobby is to relieve stress. I love how my hobbies give me some quote unquote me time to enjoy. Riding the one wheel and electric unicycles really do help me to relieve stress and to refocus. I plan on sharing more video footage from our road trip to South Dakota. While it wasn't Hawaii, South Dakota was super fun and surprisingly very beautiful. And I'm glad we visited. I'm also looking for good topics to talk about for my narrations while I share my footage. So let me know in the comments if you have any fun topics you'd like me to discuss in future videos. You ate all those worms? Yeah, he had two of them. Are those yeah, real worms? worms? Yeah, give one to Uncle James. Yeah, they're good. They're actually really oh, good. They taste like chips. They don't taste. That's the thing. Hey, that one. one. Let's try one. So, See, look, and I'm also eating this. And you're eating a worm? Wow. They taste good. Is that how they eat here in South Dakota? Yeah. That's so good. Yeah. I want more. The worms. Give me, give me a worm. Oh, that's the last one. This is it, right here? That's it. Okay, here we go. They're good. They taste like chips. Barbecue? Barbecue is better. Yeah. Barbecue is better. Barbecue is better? Too bad. Now, if Doritos made a worm, that would be tasty. Wait, can I taste? Oh, that's what he did. Thank you. And that's one scoop. One scoop. Well, no, you can have two scoops. If you pay for it yourself, you can have two. He's a working man. He can pay for it you himself. You can pay for all yeah, of us. Ethan can pay for all of us. That's right. That's only like a day's worth of work for you, bud. Ice cream for everyone on Ethan. Brought to you by the Home Depot. How is it, guys? Good. So yummy. What flavor did you get? Rainbow Sherbet. Oreo? Rainbow Sherbet. Rainbow Sherbet? What? No bubble gum? No cotton candy? This is my favorite. That's a good flavor. Now for the winner of the Tiger Blue Lock giveaway. The random number generator has spoken and Mac Dodds, congrats, you are the winner. I hope you're able to safely lock up your one wheel while enjoying your other hobby of kite surfing. There you go. Seven reasons why hobbies like the one wheel are good for you. Do you have a favorite hobby besides riding one wheel or electric unicycles? Do you fly drones, collect stamps, garden, photography? Share your hobby with us in the comments below. I recently started a new hobby. I've never mentioned it on social media. And if you can guess it though, I'll give you a free Jimmy Chang hat. Thanks for watching and remember to wear your safety gear.